Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm very sorry to have occasion to rise once more to extend condolences to the people of Nepal and their friends and family around the world. After the devastating earthquake on April 25th, which took the lives of over 8,000 people in Nepal and northern India, another strong earthquake shook the region today, resulting in more destruction and dozens of fatalities. This magnitude 7.3 earthquake was followed by at least six strong aftershocks, which were felt as far away as Delhi, the Indian capital, and Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. On behalf of the Ontario PC Party and our leader, Patrick Brown, I extend heartfelt condolences to the Nepalese and Indian communities in Ontario and all those who have been affected by this terrible tragedy. Thousands of people living in that region are sleeping outside tonight, afraid to return to their homes for fear they'll collapse. And workers are renewing their courageous efforts to rescue survivors, help the injured, and distribute aid to families who have been left with nothing. It's really devastation beyond what we can imagine here in Ontario. I think we are all deeply saddened that people who have already endured so much should be faced with further tragedy and they will continue to be in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you.